This is the Apple Vision Pro, and for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna try and build an online business from scratch all through the lens of virtual reality. I'm gonna take you guys with me through a normal day, and we're gonna find out if using these things makes it any more efficient or harder to build an online business. The challenge starts now. Good morning. So today is the big day. We are in Japan and Kyoto to be exact. So we're gonna first get ready and then we can start heading to the coffee shop. Just doing my normal routine, but I gotta make sure not to get these things wet or messed up because I'm pretty sure it's like a thousand bucks just to get them fixed and there's no taking them off. That's the deal for this challenge. And the crazy thing is the Vision Pros, these things aren't even available in Japan. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see people's reactions today. Hello, kid. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's pull up maps. Try not to get hit by this car real quick. Okay, where's maps? Maps is somewhere. As you can see, I'm still getting used to the whole map navigation feature on the Vision Pros, and for some weird reason, I couldn't figure out how to get them to stay on me. Come with me. Yeah, I know, I sound like a clingy ex. Dude, it's actually crazy. I feel like I'm looking through like a video game, but at the same time, it feels real. Everything is 720p. All right, so we've arrived at the subway. The goal is to get to the coffee shop without dying. That could actually go really bad. Yeah, I still have to use my phone to pay for stuff because Apple Pay doesn't really seem to work on these things yet, or I just haven't seemed to figure it out. We gotta go to platform one. What's gonna be interesting right now is seeing what people are gonna think of me while I am on the subway. Here we are. I wish you get this clip. We have arrived. I'm usually pretty good in social situations, but this was a bit much even for me. That's one thing in Japan, can't really talk. I'm gonna be honest, that was probably the most awkward train ride of my life, and it was so quiet in there. I feel kind of bad though, because a big part of Japanese culture is respect, and you're actually not supposed to talk much on subways. Kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. I kept getting this notification for the rest of my ride, so I couldn't even play a game or do anything in VR, which really sucks. And as we got up to get off the train, this happened. Whoa, I'm gonna break these things, man. I bet that stair counter is going through the roof right now. Hello. All right, so I don't know about you, but this is a not bad view on my end. I mean, I love Japan. Honestly, I've been to 45, almost 50 countries. Japan ranks at a top three for me. I should have come back to the motherland a lot earlier, especially because I'm half Japanese. Um, dude, I can't do this, man. Everyone's like, look at that. I was telling Steven yesterday, the good thing about all this is that they can't really see my eyes. They can't really see my face. So I feel bad for Steven because I mean, you got nothing to hide yourself with. I think we're in an extremely fortunate position where we're able to travel to basically anywhere we want in this world, not necessarily constricted to an agenda, all thanks to really putting our heads down and building our e-commerce businesses. We just arrived at Starbucks and for the past four years, I've built literal million dollar businesses from a coffee shop like this. So today, we're gonna try and build another million dollar business from a Starbucks. But challenge number one is going to be to order our Starbucks coffee in Japanese using Google Translate. Chisana hoto kohi o itakimasuka. Arigato. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I realized I said arigato, which is thank you instead of hello. Chisana uh, hoto kohi o itakimasuka. Kemasuka, uh, hot. I think I did it right. Kado Shidaharai. Yes. Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea what she said. I got the I did it. I freaking did it. You see that? That was professional. I even said card payment. Kado Shidaharai. Kado Itakimasa. Challenge number one has been complete. All right, now first things first, I need to pick a business model that's going to make it possible to build something while I walk around in these goggles. So that narrows this down specifically to one that's online. And as we know, there are a bunch of online business models to choose from, but I'm gonna be going with the one that got me here in the first place. And that has allowed me to essentially travel the world freely like I am now, which is dropshipping. Because honestly, dropshipping has changed the way I see and do business. 
But before I jump into building this online brand, let's talk about what dropshipping is, especially for those who might be new to this. You can think of dropshipping like being the middleman in a deal. You set up an online shop to sell stuff, but instead of buying a bunch of products and keeping them in your house, you just display them virtually on your website, the same way you might see a brand like Apple or Nike. And when someone buys something from your store, you then buy that product from a third party wholesaler like AliExpress at a lower price. This wholesaler then sends the product directly to your customer. You never need to see or touch the product, but you make a profit by selling it for more than you bought it. It's kind of like a neat way to do business online without needing a lot of money to start or a big space for holding inventory. All right, so according to our checklist right here, we have success successfully haven't died navigating to the Starbucks check we have ordered a coffee in Japanese without embarrassing ourselves too much say check uh, we chose our business model done and now we are on to selecting our product of choice your product is the heart and soul of the operation and without it there's really no reason to even attempt a challenge like this we need a product that offers a bunch of value to the customer and has all the characteristics of turning into a serious brand like this one. Hello. Hi. So um, I bought these the other day with like the sole intention of like starting a business. So do you have any advice on like what I can do? Because I'm running out of options. I sold everything that I have. Now I have no more money. No money. Yeah, I'm, I'm broke. Huh? Yeah, no more. So I don't know what to do. Do you have any advice? <laughs> Just enjoy it. The guy at the Apple store was one of the nicest people and I feel a little bit bad because maybe I was doing a bit too much joking and he looked a little confused, but I'm gonna take his advice just enjoy it. <laughs> Let's head to lunch, I'm starving. Then we headed for a quick lunch because all that work really had us starving. It's not the phone that eats first, the Vision Pros that eat first. All right, so we're gonna start looking through products all through these shops. Now, luckily I do have a winning product criteria right here for me to reference at any point. So we have, of course, starting with wow factor. There's two forms of wow factor, problem solving wow factor and visual wow factor. So ideally you want a product that either solves an underlying problem for someone or is just so visually appealing that it might go viral for that reason. You'll be able to make a lot of money. Next thing is logistics ease. We need to ensure that the product is easy to ship. It isn't too heavy because, you know, when you're shipping from say China or another country, it's gonna get very expensive if the product itself is heavy. Next thing is content creation capability. We want to be selling a product that you can make tons and tons and tons of content with. And then the last thing is a direct market fit. So ideally the product should tap into a specific market and we want to be able to build a community around a specific niche. Right here, looks like we have a lot of jewelry types of products. I'd say that these products are cool, but I think it is lacking wow factor. There's nothing too, too special about it. Maybe potentially Potentially the samurai one but to me it doesn't really strike me as something that I would go crazy for and as we kept walking around looking for potential products we came across this store that has pigs literal pigs dinner I know right <laughs> we're gonna drag this guy with us the whole time so that we can constantly reference it and vet various products I think that like the Japanese market, there's like a mass interest nowadays, at least for Japanese type specific products. But who knows if these products are actually from Japan. Dude, I remember my very first product that I tried to sell was blue light glasses. I don't know if these are blue light because I can't see the reflection. There is no way. So I don't know if you, you guys probably have no idea, but I made a video on this product exactly. And basically it's like a umbrella that looks like a katana sword. So as you guys might know, a group of people that might be interested in a product like this are extremely passionate, willing to dish out tons of money, a use case product. It's an actual umbrella. So I could definitely see someone and a lot of people buying a product like this. I mean, I'm not really into this niche, but it's a cool product I'd probably buy. How are the profit margins? Let's see, how much does it cost? 18.50, so it's probably like 13 bucks, 12, 13 bucks. You'd probably be able to sell it realistically for maybe 29, not with this quality. Probably at this quality, $29. So it's like a, maybe a 2X, which isn't that great. So I really do like this product, but we'll keep on looking. So we've been walking around the market for quite a while, searching for products, but we haven't found anything that really sparks our interest, but we have one last resort to make this all happen. 
Don Quixote. So we were actually in Tokyo a few days ago and we saw this place, which is called the Don Quixote. And they sell literally everything you could possibly imagine. So I think there's a good chance we may be able to find something solid to build this dropshipping business around. So let's start looking. So I'm gonna make sure to bring my winning product criteria with me and not let go of it because I have it at my fingertips use as reference. The first thing that shocked me walking into this store was the sheer volume of products. You could literally survive a zombie apocalypse if you just camped out in here. Like there are so many things in here. How does anyone even choose what the heck they want? It's so loud and bright in this store. I feel like I'm gonna get lost anytime soon. So a product like this is a great product. Eyelashes are a great product, but it's extremely hard to differentiate on a product like this because everyone's more or less selling the same thing. So I would probably pass on something like that, but this product is extremely interesting because this isn't really something that many of you have probably seen before. And basically what it is, is uh, eyelid tape. And so you place a little layer of tape on top of your eyelid. And what it does is it creates a second fold so that you have a more Western look or maybe you might be more appealing. Yeah, I think that this product has tons of wow factor. You can create a bunch of content around a product like this. So I'd be interested to see what other variations they might have. Okay. So according to our winning product criteria right here, I think that this product hits everything. I think it for sure has wow factor. Right? So it might be solving a problem for some people that see this as a problem. It might not be the most visually appealing, but it will make you look visually appealing. Uh, logistics ease, so very lightweight product. Content creation capability, we make tons of content around a product like this. Okay, and then also has a direct market fit. And uh, not many people in the US have seen market a product like this. Lots of potential with this product. We're probably gonna buy a few units to product test on, uh, do we have a candidate that's willing and able and capable to product test for us? I'm gonna go with the blue one, which looks like the nicest one, the best custom packaging, looks the most premium. And as I said, I'll go with this one. I think I just need these two and we should be good. Since I couldn't make up my mind on which product I wanted to proceed with, I thought I'd ask some of the locals who probably know a bit more about these types of products than I do. What do you think is the also, better one to go with? Like best one? Oh, never use. Oh, okay. All right, arigato. Guess not. Well, after that interaction, I headed straight to the counter. I just wanted to pay and get out of the store as soon as possible. We're all good to go. We got what we need. We got the goods. Now that I'm done testing the products, it's time to set up the storefront. So I'm gonna be attempting to use ChatGPT on the Vision Pro. So let's get started. Let's go on to ChatGPT 4. ChatGPT is basically gonna help me streamline the copy of the website. So anything from the product descriptions, website text, and even the policy pages. Competitors that I did a little bit of research on. So I want to be able to use a website that is already doing well as a reference for when I'm ready to formulate my own. So I can even go to the extent of taking their copy and throwing it into ChatGPT and telling it to come up with a brand new version. And I'm not the most creative person, so I like to use ChatGPT to help me brainstorm a good brand name that resonates with my niche. The first one sounds really good. Spark Shine, that one sounds really good. I like Beam Peak, so let's go and see if that's available on GoDaddy. I'm gonna go to GoDaddy and search my domain name to see if it's taken. If it's not, then I'm all set to claim the name to use my own .com is in fact available. So this is the domain name that I'm going to be going with. I'm gonna to use to build out the brand. Now I'm gonna be creating a store using my AI store builder and then editing it to my liking based off of what the AI gives me. And this is a pretty easy process. All we have to do is go into any one of my YouTube videos like this. And then we're gonna head in to the description. We're gonna hit that second link. I have a ridiculous amount of tutorials on my channel and I usually put the links of each of the websites that we need to build the business. So that's exactly where I'm headed. And and hit this landing page, build my free store. We're gonna input our email, our name and our email. I need to make sure that the settings are all configured properly, starting with shipping options for customers based on specific locations, and then the policy pages as well. So all these products that are already listed, are already linked to AutoDS. AutoDS is basically a fulfillment tool that will help me import my product onto my Shopify store, and anytime I get an order, they will automatically fill each order so I don't have to manually input the customer shipping info each and every time. It's basically gonna streamline the fulfillment process for me. So I need to ensure the quality of these two products, but I also need a willing and capable test subject. I think I might know the perfect person. No way, absolutely, I'm not. As you can see, Steven was more than willing to let me test the product on him and shout out to Steven because even though he might have not been the target demographic. He did volunteer. I mean, what a great guy. Get yourself a Steven. <laughs> Ow, bro. What the hell? Why are you looking at me like that? Dude, I have, you told me to hold it. I think I do a pretty good job of this. 
this business is gonna fail. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the online store and then I'm gonna create our logos with the Vision Pros. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but we're going to attempt to make this happen. I actually thought that creating the logo on the Vision Pros would be a lot harder than it was, but it ended up turning out not too shabby. Not bad. Okay, as right, so you guys probably don't want to see me sit down and try and edit this whole story using these things. So I'll speed up the editing process and get back to you guys. I need to get some viral ads like this in a very fast period of time, preferably less than 24 hours. So I'm gonna be using viral e-com ads to make that all happen. Viral e-com ads will basically take care of the creative process. So they'll create high converting UGC style content for me that I'm gonna be using to run ads with. I'm gonna go to, pretty straightforward, right? So we have different options. I'm gonna go and select the three TikToks with testing package. We get a little bit of discount. And basically, I'm just trying to emulate that video that was going viral for this specific product. Damn guys, we've been at this for a while. I just wish there was some way I could have a coach to motivate me throughout this process. The reason why you're a loser, and the reason why you're not making it, you're lazy, you know exactly what to do. Cause even I know exactly what to do. All right, so I've been customizing the Shopify store for a little bit of time now. Let's finally go in and see what it looks like. It's so from the header, we added that free shipping minimum, added that logo right there. I did a few customizations to it, but it looks pretty good. We have a main banner, we have some text, scroll down. We have an image with text. Let me just configure it to mobile so, you know, Looks a little bit better. Now on to the next step, which is advertising. So the viral e-com ads just came in in my advertising method of choice, AKA how I would hypothetically get eyeballs onto the store that I just spent hours creating is going to be TikTok ads. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna be setting up TikTok ads for this store because the reach is absolutely phenomenal. And I think a product like this would perform much better on TikTok, specifically using the UGC style of creatives. Also take a look at the videos that Barbie Come Ads sent us. So this is the first one. Struggling with droopy eyelids but looking for a non-surgical solution. I'm really happy how the three ad creators turn out. Exactly what I was looking for. The AI voiceover plus showcasing the product perfectly. So after I press the submit button, these ads are gonna go into review and then once they are approved, they're gonna start spending. And we have officially built our drop shipping business from scratch in 24 hours. I'm so tired if you guys can't see already, but we did it. I was honestly very questionable as to whether or not I'd be able to build out an entire online business using only the Vision Pros, but I'm so stoked we managed to make it happen and I can finally take these things off. Oh, God. So does fancy VR tech like the Vision Pros actually simplify building a business? They're cool. Sure, with these insane visuals and multitasking, but are they essential? Not really. Truth is, anyone with just a laptop and internet connection can launch their own business today. That's the beauty of our time. Opportunity is everywhere, not just in the latest gadgets. The Vision Pros, while giving me a taste into the future, they ended up being more of a cool distraction than an essential tool and had me realizing that sometimes, Getting too caught up in tech can actually pull you away from the work that matters. And don't get me wrong, the Vision Pros are out of this world, but for now, I'm keeping it simple.